All right, I'm gonna be doing another unboxing and I'm so excited because I actually waited for this one quite a while. Um, oh, and it seems like I won't be needing a box cutter because... Yeah, you like mommy's bags? No, I hope I like this one because I kind of waited a while. And this one is um, a coach bag. And again, I'm not much of a coach fan, but some of the styles that they recently came out with, I am actually liking. Here, Dad, can you put the blade away, please? All right, so that's, that's nice. Ooh, so I got this from Saks. Um, it took about almost three weeks before I got this. All right, so that's that. And then it's all wrapped in plastic. I'm sure they just wrapped it. This wasn't like sitting in the warehouse. And then of course, I think that the black um, concept paper is just to prevent the bag from like jumping from one side to another. And again, I'm just gonna put that on this side. All right, so this is actually the, uh, the coach pillow tabby. Yeah, it's a pillow tabby in red. You guys won't believe it. I scored this one. And I think that's why my order got delayed because it was really, really low price when I bought it from Saks Fifth Avenue. Because when I checked the following day after my purchase, the price went up to 200 something dollars, 269. And that was the sale price. Oh, that is so pretty. That is a really pretty red. So this is the color in daylight. Cause I'm right next to the window. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. And then this is the strap. It's all wrapped up. I'm gonna go ahead and just unwrap these and... Again, I'm not gonna be cutting off the tags yet, so... These things will just be connected to each other for now because again, I like to really look in the bag and see if I really won't like it or then if I'm gonna keep it. So bear with me here as I try to remove these little protectors that they came with. But you know what, so far, just by looking at the bag, the first glance, I don't see any issue. So I might actually be keeping this bag. And I got this for, you wanna know how much I got this for? It's crazy. Because I went in any and every other website that you could find the red tabby, and they were over $200. They were nearly $300, I think. They were like $297. I got this one for $165. You guys, I bought this for $165. And with that, that's a steal. Except I paid for it, so I didn't really steal it. Anyways, so... There's that. And it came with, of course, the classic C logo in there. And then here's the hardware protector. Right here, so I'm gonna remove those in a bit. So I am keeping the dog. No creasing anywhere, not just yet. <laughs> So, it is a brand new bag from Saks Fifth Avenue. I'm gonna remove the fillers. Oh my gosh, this is my very first red bag. That is so pretty. Hmm. This is so pretty. And then they has that little soft um, tag right there. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I like pressing on this thing. Hence the name pillow, so it's so cushiony. Um, yeah. So that's that, and then... What's that? All right, so that's the unboxing for you. 
All right, now let's get to the actual details of the bag. All right, so this is how the bag looks. That's the short um, shoulder strap. And then this is the long crossbody strap. And it has that rustic gold hardware. And it has that coach um, branding on there. And then the walker, which I appreciate. So I'm gonna put this one aside because right now we're just gonna do some measurements real quick. Oops, sorry. We're gonna do some measurements real quick. So if you prefer centimeters, this is the centimeter part. So from the bottom of the bag, it is 27, oh, 26 centimeters. So this is a pillow tabby 26. So that is correct. So that's 26. And then this one is eight to nine centimeters. And then the height is 14 centimeters. Now, if you prefer inches, I got you. And pillows 20, pillow tab 26 inches are um, 11 inches. So about three and a half inches. And then for the height is about six inches. Now, let's see what fits in the bag. So there's already, there's no filling in there. I already removed everything. I suppose, hold on. Oh. I keep hitting the stand, sorry. So I've removed everything already in there. So you've got two compartments here, open compartments, no slid pockets anywhere, but you do have a zipper pocket in the middle, which can secure your loose things, such as pens, lip balms, and such key fobs. All right, now let's start and find out what fits in the bag. So every time I let go, it, it will close on its own. So I've got three types of wallet for you because there are different types of people. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. I've got four. So I've got four different types of wallet because there are different types of people. So they've got the small wallet. Some people like to use small wallets. Some people prefer card holders. Some people like a full-size wallet. And some people like to use an actual full-size wallet, a trifold. Well, it's not really trifold, trifold, but you know, this is a continental wallet. Now, in the bag, if you are using the big one, this is gonna automatically go in the very back and it's already occupying most of the space. And then at the front is basically where your essential is gonna be. So I have lotion. my key fob pouch. Car keys, oh sorry, car keys, house keys. AirPods. Uh, second key fob, so hence is my favorite color, red. Okay. So I'm gonna put this key fob in the zipper pocket. And then two of my pens. It's always good to keep a pen in handy. And then my favorite lipstick so far, or your choice of lipstick. I'm just gonna put that right there. I normally bring sunglasses with me, but it's usually in the car anyway. So this is how it looks with the full-size wallet. And then, it, does it close? Oh, does it close? Yes, it does. Indeed, it does. And it keeps its shape, you guys. It's not too bulky. It looks the same with or without stuff in it. All right, so I went to go grab my husband's phone and my everyday pouch that I forgot to include in there. So I can still slide my, your, you can still slide your phone in there and it's still 
closes. Nice. It just it gets really heavy. I don't know why, but it's like when you put in your phone in your bag, it adds like five pounds. And then my everyday pouch. Slide in there. Now it's looking really bulky. Now the question is, will it close? It's a quite quite a struggle there, but it it closes. But man, did you did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, that's how heavy the bag is right now. <laughs> All right, so now we're just gonna be removing this big wallet. And then we're gonna go with the next size down, which I think many are using this um, type of wallet. So you just slide that in there, and that's how it looks. And you still have room to put something right here. I mean, if you want to just move your um, lotion on the other side, you could do that. And you still have room over here to move things around. So like your phone. It's not all squished in there with the key. And then, this one you can easily close. That's already given. Right? So, and it, it still keeps its shape. This, I think that's what I like about this bag. Is that no matter how much you fill it up, it still looks the same. And then now let's size down to the next small wallet. Which is this one. This one's kind of thick though, but it's a small wallet. So, ironically, it makes the bag a little extra bulky. I'm gonna remove this one real quick. Reorganize that and keep my life simple. Again, if you guys um, have stuff in the middle of your bag, like I did, I put the uh, pens and my key fob. My, because I again, I put, I bring two key fobs, my husband's keys and my. So I had to reorganize that because that's a different shape of wallet. So that's that. So it still fits. It should fit. I mean, if the continent, if the continental wallet fit. This one should fit too, just in a different way of organizing your bag. Again, not that bulky. So pretty. I am really liking this color because it's red. It's called red apple, but it's not like red red that it's too bright of a red. This is like the perfect red. All right, now let's go down to the card holder, which obviously will definitely fit, but I'm going to reorganize that because I like to put big things in the back and then small in the front normally. So that's what I do. So I'm going to put the phone in the back. Actually, at this point, since I, I can bring my, my everyday pouch, I can put my pens in there. And that's what I prefer anyway. I don't like my pen sitting around the bag because you know how sometimes your pen can leak leak its ink? Yeah, I don't want it to leak in my bag. I don't mind it leaking in there, just not in my bags. All right, so I'm gonna put that in there and then the card holder and then lotion here. Yes. All right, so that's how it looks. You still have some room in there. I forgot to throw in my glasses here. Ta-da! Guys, I love Tory Burch. It is Tory. And I love the shape. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just close that for you. Ta-da! So to me, I think that the card holder would be the most practical wallet to use. But, yep, everybody's different. So I showed you guys different types of wallet that can fit in the bag. So yeah, it does have a bit of crunching already. That's probably because of like just me opening and pressing on it. Oh, but it's so pretty. And then it has that gold um, hardware. 
This is really pretty, guys. And yeah, definitely love this guy. And the long strap. So this is how it sounds with the foot, with everything in it. All right, so I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you for the Coach Pillow Tabby size 26. And yeah, what do you guys think about this bag? Because honestly, in my opinion, when I first saw it, I'm not really a fan. But I've been seeing it everywhere. Not that I'm seeing it in YouTube or anything, but like when I would go to the mall, I would go to Nordstrom, it's just, I see it so many places that I'm like, I don't hate it, but I'm like, I, I like it. And now that I have it, I am in love with it. It is such a perfect, just handheld shoulder bag. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be using this too often as a shoulder bag, uh, as a crossbody. Most likely just this style right here where you carry top handle. Yeah, this is so cute. Don't sleep on these guys. If you see that it's on sale, go grab it. It's perfect for the holidays. And it's nice to have a little pop of color. And it's red. And it's not too red. That's, you don't want to see what's red. I'll show you what's red. This, is, this bag is from Miniso. No, 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 no. Yeah, Miniso. This is red. This apple red more a lo looks more a little pink. It has a little pink to it. I'm wearing burgundy. This is a red bag, and that's how it looks side by side. So this is definitely a good color. Don't sleep on it. Don't pass on it. If you see it, grab it before they go. Because you know, Coach, when they go on sale, they're discontinuing the color. All right. Well, anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned and enjoyed the video and helped you decide if you wanted to get the bag or not. Thank you, guys. Bye.